one at a time. What's the one sentence piece of advice you're going to give people to readjust their mindset for, for Q3? Do it consistently, whatever you choose. That's good. That is good. I would say, again, mine has nothing to do with work. Whatever it is that you're obsessing about, stop waiting for the thoughts to go away. Like, don't worry about thoughts going away. As somebody who's struggled with anxiety for 40 years, you're not going to stop obsessing over your stuff. Recognize that most of it probably doesn't matter. And in that moment, find out where that, that weird feeling is coming from. And everybody, it manifests differently. For me, it's right in the middle between my stomach and my chest. That's where all that, that physical anxiety radiates from. Yep. Sink into it. Go into it and be aware that it's there and acknowledge it and let it pass right by. And do that consistently. When I said 50 times a day, guys, I'm not kidding. I tell myself, stay open. Don't close up multiple times a day. And if you do that with the little stuff, it will start manifesting into bigger stuff. Yep. But don't expect all of that to go away in a day. Just start telling yourself today in those moments, you're not going to let that thing bother you. And yep. see what happens. I love it. I love it. Uh, I tell the team all the time, if you want to be a badass, just do badass stuff. Yes, sir. Right? Everything that you need to accomplish your goals is within your reach. Even if you don't have the resources right now, you have the resourcefulness to go create or find those resources. But if you can't come home at the end of every day and look yourself in the mirror and say that you did everything that you could today to get to the, to, to further your goals, it is nobody's fault but your own. 